So this is the second half of the Tritronic collar. This remote is the Sport Combo G G3 unit. So this particular unit has an extra three settings on it. So for this video, we're just going to wor work with the TCM setting. So TCM is the lever on the left here right by my thumb. I always have it so that the arrow, the little white arrow there is pointed at TCM. The T, C, and M positions correspond with the buttons. So T is top button, C, middle button, M, bottom button. Now they stand for T is tone, C is continuous, M is momentary. Uh, these buttons, tone obviously is a is a, a audible signal that you can send your dog, send Mushu. And up here there's a rheostat on the corner and the rheostat works in conduct conjunction with the continuous and momentary buttons. So basically this adjusts the size of the zot that you give her or the zap. And uh, just so that you have an idea of what kind of message you're sending here, about one and a half to two is where it starts getting uh, where you can start feeling it on your own personal hand like if you used it on your the meat of your hand and it starts getting uncomfortable around three and four and at five it's hard to hang on to so I use it in five if there's a dangerous situation or if she's not uh, paying attention for some reason and she absolutely needs to otherwise I'll just send several small signals around two and a half to three to her um, I would suggest trying it out on yourself first. You won't hurt yourself. Hey, Mushu, come here. So I gave her a couple tone audibles and she came back. That's kind of how you'd use it. Since she's paying attention, you know, she was able to do it. Sometimes if there's a bad uh, distraction, like a squirrel or something, and I see the squirrel before she does, I'll give her a couple tones just to say, hey, you got to pay attention to me so that she, her attention doesn't wander, and then she takes off after the squirrel and sometimes then a two or three won't get her attention you have to go up to four or sometimes even higher if she's gonna have a risk of running out in front of a car uh, so a lot of its being a little bit of pre-warned about this um, as far as these other buttons go so we've talked about the main selector switch and we can just always leave it on TCM never has to change the switch on the other side is a switch that has three colors black blue and red Always leave it on black because Mushu's collar is set to black. Sometimes if you have more than one dog, you'll set one to black, one to blue, one to red. So anyways, the main side of this, of this uh, control, you're going to be constantly twisting this button and just pushing the three buttons. That's all you need to do. Now when you push it, we'll set this, if you, if you have it on neutral, neutral nothing works. So that's where you put it if you put it in your pocket. But if you have tight pants and you put it in your pocket, sometimes the switch will scroll on you, and then you might be walking along accidentally buzzing Mushu. And one way you can tell is so if it's on tone, you can actually hear it. And look at the bottom. You'll see there's the green lighting up. Every time I push it, it lights up with it. And that's the tone signal. Mushu thought she was supposed to come here and see me, so she came closer. So, next, we're going to uh, talk a little more about how to use it. And so the best way to do it is you can see she's sitting and waiting. Push a button. I've trained her to come forward. When she hears the beat, she comes back to me. Always safest to do that. If she's not paying attention or I need to get serious, then I give her a little bit. If tone doesn't work, I'll give her a little momentary. Then you can scroll up and give it higher if necessary. But most of the control is done just through being aware of the situations that Mushu or your dog is going to get into. And then they will uh, pay more attention to you ahead of time. Treat, treat her like you would a four-year-old four boy. Alright, hope you have fun.